was well, hoping you could uh, look look at uh, standing sideway. I've got a clue for you about standing sideway. A clue. I've said this before, but never with as much stark clarity. You pay attention to the shape of your foot pressure on each foot, and you make them identical. If you make them identical, you remove all twist in the act of making them identical. So you feel the shape of the foot pressure on one foot, find the exact same shape on the other foot. What if the twist causes me to um, naturally have a different, slightly different foot pressures? Correct yourself. If you want to know how, go to one side, and while t drooping to one side, do some deliberate slow twisting and feel the effect on your foot. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Yeah, it feels like uh, <laughs> feels like there's naturally less pressure on the right foot. Okay, so these are all these are all self corrections you make because the instruction is to make the two feet feel the same pressure. If you can't get it onto the right foot, there's something about your pelvis which isn't positioned sufficiently sideways to let your weight go over the foot. And that, that only protect yeah, if you're doing threes and the weight is heavy on the left foot, then you're drooped further to the left. So you just make yourself corrections. Droop less on one or more on the other until the pressure and shape are the same. 